Kia ora everyone, quick video today, my partner has a set of string lights and I'm sick of buying batteries for it, just uh, three double A's it runs on. So I've converted a few things so far to lithium battery, basically what you need is an old phone battery, got a few laying around, and a charging controller chip. I happen to have bought a whole sheet of them online for about 10 bucks. So a basic demonstration of the chip. Here I've taken a disposable vape battery and yes they use lithium batteries that are fully rechargeable. So if you're worried about electric vehicles using lithium, maybe you should think about the companies using lithium as a throwaway one-time use battery. It's pretty bad. Anyway, you can attach this chip gives you a micro USB charging plug so we can plug it in and that can be charged on any normal USB uh, we can put an LED or whatever else it outputs about 4 volts which is a very similar voltage to uh, anything that runs on 3 triple A's or double A's uh, the chip will turn the light off when the battery gets to uh, down to a certain voltage and it will not allow it to charge above maybe 4.2 volts whereas the straight USB puts in 5 volts which could damage the battery or make a hazardous situation. I've pulled the batteries out and attached two wires one to the side of the switch and the other one you can see a cable coming down the end to there so these are our two connections and let's test it out on the battery. There we go, you can see that works and now I've soldered my two wires for the battery onto there and you want to do this really quickly because you don't want to overheat the lithium or things could catch on fire so it's a good idea to have a little tin to the side in case something goes wrong and just prep everything well use your little tip tinner and I've got a flux pen that I dampen all the wires with so it works and it sticks perfectly every time now if you don't have red and black wire there's usually one that has marking on it. This one's got dots on one side, so that will be my positive terminal. And I'll keep the same structure for this one here. Now we'll have a look at our little chip here. And we can see that we're going to be using battery plus, battery negative, and then out plus, out negative. We don't have to worry about these. That's if we wanted to connect a solar panel or a different type of plug. We're just going to charge it straight off of that plug there. And we're done. Let's turn it on. Sweet. Now that's it. I've super glued it onto the battery box, covered up the terminals of the battery there, and the switch is still functional. And if we want to charge it, We'll just plug it in. There we go, the charging light comes on. There's everything all hooked up. And I've got a USB power meter on there so we can see that it is charging at 3.75 watts. So far, three watt hours. Oh, I had something else on there earlier, I haven't reset it yet. Here's a couple other things I've made. Converted this little sensor light here. So that used to run on two triple A's. Uh, just a matter of tidying it all up and making it look good. So that battery out of the vape there, tested at two watt hours. I checked that by charging it on the meter here and seeing how many watt hours it took to charge the whole battery. And this is actually quite bright, changes color. And that thing there will run for about three weeks non-stop on one charge all right thanks for watching guys have a good one